Good day, good day, everybody. And once again, we're back together. All right, so today we're looking at the nature of roots question four. So please, if you haven't subscribed, do the right thing. Just hit that subscribe button. And in this case, let's get into the question. So please note, we've already answered questions uh, one till three, right? From this question paper, we're doing the technical maths uh, exemplar from 2017. Okay, right. Now they say to us, describe the nature of roots. Now, please, I want you to note, ladies and gents. So already they've kind of solved this. So we've got something that is underneath the square root. Okay, so that is what will determine the nature of roots. What do we note about the square root? So firstly, we can see that delta is greater than zero. So that already tells us that's going to be real roots. Okay, there is the square root of a positive number. Now, secondly, we can see that our delta value, what's inside the square root, is uh, greater than zero. It is not equal to zero. So in this case, so roots would be real, but they will be unequal. Remember, for equal roots, it means that our delta, what is underneath the square root, would simply be equal to zero. But thirdly, what do we note in this case? 16 is a perfect square. So therefore, because it is a perfect square, it simply tells us that our roots are rational. Now, please, if you don't know what this means, please go and watch my videos on the nature of roots and that will give you further guidance. All right, now let's go into 4.2. Okay, so they say to us, determine the nature of the roots of the equation, right, uh, without solving for the equation. Now, what do we want to do? Firstly, let's work out what our delta is. So our A value is negative 4, our B value is negative 2, and our C value is 1. So let's work out B squared minus 4AC, right? So that's going to be 2, negative 2 squared minus 4 times our A is negative 4 multiplied by 1. So what is our delta value? That's going to be 4, negative 4 times 4, and uh, negative 4 what would be uh, 16, right? Times 1, that's going to be definitely 16. And so delta is equal to 20. So what do we note? That's a positive number. So we've got roots that are real, right? So roots are, are real. Secondly, I know that they are unequal because delta is not equal to zero. And that is not a perfect square. 20 is not a perfect square. So um, my roots are irrational. It means that it will give us a third, right? Um, in this case. So they are irrational. And ladies and gents, that is how the cookie crumbles. I'll see you guys again on the next one. For now, it's ciao and shop shop.